Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, and I can't find Shadow Man. He's nowhere to be found. Um, I guess he don't like them clouds up there in the sky. We we are completely blocked out, have a completely uh, cloudy day here. So I guess I have to make this video without him, or maybe he's somewhere watching, or I, I don't know. Shadow Man gone. But anyway, I came out here right now because I want to show you guys um, something here. You guys helped me to purchase through your donations. You guys helped me to purchase this UV meter. Um, and I wanted to show you something uh, on this UV meter. You see it says it's um, 1009 here. Uh, this would be um, standard time. We don't really use daylight savings time. So it's um, if you did, it would be 9 a.m. But anyway, so we're looking here. And what I wanted to show you is the UV index. Even though we're on a completely uh, cloudy day, you can't see the sun at all. And so we're still at a UV index of 2, 2.5. There's absolutely no shadow, but we have a UV index of 2.5 at 9 a.m. in the morning. Now, from what I understand, anything over a 3 is um, hazardous to our, to our skin, especially us fair-skinned people. Um, um, hesitate to say, you know, my own skin complexion ain't that dark. You know, my granddaddy's, never mind. So I wanted to point this out, you know. This is interesting. My son actually was the first one to bring it to my attention. This arrived in the mail yesterday, and we, we were in the middle of a thunderstorm. And he had, he had mentioned earlier that the UV would still come through in a thunderstorm. And I doubted him. So I went out there and tried to check. He went out there. We both couldn't get anything while the thunder and the rain and everything was coming down. But this morning, I decided to test his theory to see if the, if the clouds actually block it out, if the clouds will block out the uh, UV rays. And you see, like I said, Shadow Man ain't nowhere to be around. Ain't no shadows out here. Nothing. Not a shadow to be found. But yet, the UV meter is getting up to 2.5. So and it's and it's 9 a.m. Well, 10 if you don't consider uh, daylight savings time. We, it's up to 2.5. So even on a cloudy day, early in the morning, it's going to be above three. I would assume I have to come out here tomorrow or when we do get some sun and look at it early in the morning. But I'm I'm actually surprised about this in a. To be honest, a little bit disturbed about this because even when we think we are avoiding the sun by being under clouds or whatever, we're not. The clouds are not helping us that much. I'm not sure how much they're helping us, but they're not helping us much at all. Okay, Ooh. boy, enough, enough. Boy, my dog trying to make his cameo appearance. Anyway, we're not going to break the second commandment. That, that's one thing, you know, I will as an aside note, guys. We need to stop breaking the second commandment. You, you should go read that. The second commandment, Exodus chapter 20. I can't remember exactly what verse it is, um, but it's the second commandment. Right after the verse that says that, you know, you will worship no other gods, he says you will make no images. Guys, And but we're making images. Now, get on me. Jump up say, Coach, you're making an image right now. I am absolutely making an image right now. But notice that this is not fit the characteristics of what the, the, the scripture says, it says anything above the earth, anything below the earth. This is a man-made object. You know, I'm taking a picture of this thing. And if it's going to get destroyed, so be it. But what about me? Do I want to take a picture of me? Does that mean that I'm going to get destroyed? I don't know, guys. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm real scared when I look in the comment section how many of you guys actually have your face displayed in your comment section. To me, aren't you breaking the second commandment every time you make a post? Every time you hit reply to somebody's comment, you are breaking the second commandment because you have posted your image or the image of your dog or whatever, the son, whatever you have as your thing. I have my images, two letters, Aleph and Tav, you know. Um, so I, I don't know, guys. You, you, you might want to check. You might want to pray on this because some of you 
I'm even making videos showing your faces. Every idol will fall, guys. Every idol will crash. You have essentially made an idol out of yourself, acting like these heathen out here uh, who are making these images and stuff um, all the time. They, they do it like it's nothing. And here we are, the children of light. And we're making these images right along, acting like them, you know, as if it don't matter. I better be careful with this phone because it could easily flip around and show my face. And then, th and then I'm going to get in trouble. So I better shut this off. Matter of fact, let's, 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 let's get on with it. All right, here we are at 10, 15. And we still have a UV index of about 2, 2.5. Now, does the clouds block it out? Y'all tell me in the comment section. I'm not an expert on this at all. Maybe this is what we'll see tomorrow with the sun out. We'll get a 2.5. That would be interesting to note. But I just wanted to let you know, you know, That even early in the morning, this sun is still a little bit dangerous on us. It's 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 um it's burning us. Um, y'all pray whether I should get that uh, UVC meter, because apparently that one's supposed to be even more dangerous. UVC is supposed to be more dangerous than UVA. This is only UVA and UVB. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is um, for you guys that watches our videos all the time, um, you're probably interested in a playlist that we're about to put up on the keys of Enoch. Um, I don't know if the father's going to give me permission to actually uh, publish it straight out, make it public or whatever. What I got now is that it would be a playlist and actually watching this video may be the only heads up that you get. So when you see the link pop up for the keys of Enoch, this is going to be the first uh, chapters. Um, I done got through one, two, three, four or five keys at least maybe six keys so um you guys look for um this uh playlist is popping up if you're interested in those keys this is a read-along so um, um y'all check it out so we're here at almost 10 30 the uv index trying to position it to get the highest number possible this looks like it's at a 2.5. And maybe it's the clouds that's blocking it. Maybe the clouds is keeping it um, below 2.5 for us. Maybe that's the time for us to be out doing stuff is when the clouds is, you know, 2.5. Um, um, if it wasn't the Sabbath day, I'd, I'd be out doing stuff myself. But, you know, this is about as much work as I'm going to get done today is actually making uh, and editing, posting uh, this video. Two two point five. Two point five at uh, ten twenty four a.m. on a very cloudy day. Like I said, Shadow Man, Shadow Man still ain't showed up for work yet. You know what I mean, the A wall. You know what I'm saying he a wall, and you can't blame it on the UV because it's only at two, two point five. So maybe maybe Shadow Man like it hot. I don't know. All right, y'all check out this playlist of these uh, classes. Um, somebody mentioned that they had saw an audio book, or they found a, uh, they was looking at an audio book of the Keys of Enoch. If you know about that, guys, please share. Please share our, everything um, that you guys find. You know, I share it with others. I'm not hoarding this information. I'm sharing it with you guys as fast as I can. So, you know, um, and you guys have been making huge contributions. One of you donated our very first copy of the Third Testament. Um, one of you um, found the Great Book of Life, all 12 volumes, and gave it to us. And now you can find a link to that down in the description because that person did that. Uh, somebody just told us about a PDF of the Keys of Enoch, and now you can find a link to that down in the description. So if you find an audio book of the Keys of Enoch, um, let me know, and I'll put it down there in the description of this video uh, for everybody else to, to, to be able to see. You know, that, that counts to your uh, merits, too, when you do stuff like that, when you help me, and I'm able to help others. What does the scripture say? Blessed is he who um, uh, blesses, he will bless thee, bless them that bless thee, 
Yeah, I, should, I probably should pull that up. All right, so we back out here at uh, 12.56. You see Shadow Man still gone. He ain't even out here. Let's see what kind of readings we're getting. Three. Three. And so even, even on a day when there's zero shadow, we're still getting a UV rating of three. One o'clock um, in the day, Eastern stand, um, Daylight Savings Time, it'll be 11 or 12 o'clock. And it looks like the ratings that we're, readings that we're getting as far as ozone is three. Should have brought my pyramid out here so I can see which direction the sun is actually in right now. So the highest rating we can get in is three. Three in the shade. It's UV. Three in the shade. So, as you can hear, we're getting rain. So we decided to come back out here and see what it is we can get in the rain. So we're standing in the rain. Looks like Chris was right. The, you, the sun, the rain, and the clouds do not block it out. I better get out of this rain. But... But I just wanted to come out and share that with you guys. Um, give you a heads up on the videos coming out. And give you a heads up on this sun and stuff. This is getting serious with this sun. It's, we're going through a polar shift. we got videos on that to show what the Bible says about the polar shift. Y'all can check those out. Maybe I'll put you a playlist up on that. Because um, this, is, this is serious. We need to protect ourselves uh, from the sun. Um, at least our bodies is concerned. As far as the electromagnetic field, you know, we can't do much about that. Um, we're already starting to see a change in humanity. You may have noticed um, people are starting to get more, I don't want to say evil, but, you know, I kind of call it like I see it. I'm an umpire in this game. Um, people are changing. It's because of this electromagnetic change that we're going through. It's actually going to um, um, change humanity. It's actually going to be what causes um you know, all of this really bad stuff to happen. Good stuff happens in the end, though, so don't get worried. You know, we just need to protect ourselves from the sun, you know, in the meantime. So now when you get into that playlist, you're going to notice some other YouTube channels in there. These are two channels that we found that are reading Third Enoch, the keys of Enoch. And if we find more, we'll put them in this playlist. It's a great thing that they're doing. However, between the two of these guys, Celeste Rawlings and Rosh Reformation Assemblies, they barely have 50 subscribers between them. So if you guys go over there and subscribe to their channel, it's going to be a little bit surprising as their numbers increase really rapidly. So let's be respectful and let's let them know where we came from. Give a little bit of credit to this channel. So... That if we need to call upon them one day, they'll be more likely to help us. Because guys, if they're doing the reading for us and uploading and sharing, then we can do what we do on this channel. And that's analyzing, interpreting, and doing classes. All praises be to our Father in Heaven. Hallowed be His name. Uh, you guys go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure that you leave a comment and pray for me.